this is the audience. My Hello? father. John? And my stepmother. There's Dang. only two, not three. So during 2013 to 2016, 8% of Americans had depression. 8% of those Americans felt like they had difficulty in their work, home, and social activities. Depression is a mood disorder. And it causes feelings of sadness and loss of interest in their day-to-day -day life. They feel like they are worthless and life doesn't need them anymore. Um, so next time you ask someone, how are they? And they answer with, fine, you need to read in between the line and see if they're actually doing okay. Because majority of the time, there's more to the story. And the reason why I can say that is because I had depression. Um, in my early 20s, I went through a depression state. I didn't get up from bed. I didn't know what was going on. I wasn't doing what I normally did. Um, it took me months to realize what was going on. And I'm blessed because I had a family who recognized the problem and helped me get the treatment that I needed. And a lot of times people who have depression go through the same thing. They don't understand why they have it. They don't understand why they feel the way they feel. Um, and we, as their friend, as their family, as their cousin, whatever, need to recognize these signs and get the help they need because if not, depression is one of the deadliest things and it could cause suicide. So today I'm here to talk about uh, the symptoms, the causes, and the treatment of depression. So first I'm going to start with the symptoms. So one of the majority main symptoms of depression is having a low mood or having a sense of sadness, having the, the blues, um, feeling hopelessness, feeling worthlessness. Um, this is a big sign of having depression. The second one is losing sleep actually. So a lot of people who aren't sleeping at night, their thoughts keeping them up, um, is a big sign of an issue. It causes high anxiety, which is connected to having depression. Um, so if someone that you know isn't getting enough sleep, there might be having an episode of depression disorder. Um, the third issue or symptom is self-harm. So self-harm is a very serious one because it could mean anything. It could mean they're trying to kill themselves. It could mean that they're using drugs or alcohol. It could be anything. Tr they're just trying to escape what they're feeling and they feel like the treatment for it is taking their own life. So now that we talked about the symptoms of depression, I'm gonna talk about what causes these symptoms. So a lot of times um, people don't know the actual cause of depression. So when you ask what causes depression, it's almost as complicated as saying what makes a person unique. Because each individual, each individual has its own personality traits or um, behaviors. So you have to recognize these um, as an individual. So if your friend is usually high in spirits and they already started to become gloomy or sad, that's a big sign. Um, and then um, in Healthline, they stated that um, there was this gene that it could be genetic causing depression. Um, I know the DNA Learning Center did a study and they did a study on the 5-ATT gene stating that if it had a short variation of it, you would get depression. Um, and then there are hormonal changes that could be the reason why someone gets um, depression. So that could be during puberty, pregnancy, postpartum um, depression as something that could happen. Um, also, if you have high level of stress hormones, that's a big sign of depression that could cause um, major depressive disorder. And then lastly, I'm gonna talk about the treatment. So the number one treatment they everyone recommends is therapy. So talking your feelings out to someone is something that's gonna help you 
a lot. It's going to help you deal with those negative thoughts that you're having and maybe express it into a more positive way. Um, and then lastly, there are antidepressants that can help as well as so medication. Um, there's so many different types, um, but they state that you have to try out multiple antidepressants because one might not do the job for you, whereas another one will. And you won't see, um, I guess, the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? You won't see the actual like feeling of change. It tastes like seven weeks or something. So you don't want to just start taking an antidepressant and a week later be like, it's not working. You have to keep going. You got to be patient with it um, and stick it through. Um, and then lastly, a lot, of, a lot of people say that if you can't get the help that if therapy's not working, you might be hospitalized, which is another way of getting treatment. So they can hospitalize you, get the treatment you need quickly, and hopefully it can reverse the disorder. Um, but depression is more than just being sad or having a bad day or temporary being bummed out. Um, most common symptom is low mood swings and it can be irreversible. Often the person with depression is not being able to enjoy activity daily that she and she that he or she usually likes. Depression symptoms can cause person to person but the best way to help is always being there for them. On an individual community and national level, it is time for us to learn more about depression and support those who have them and get, their, get them the help they need. Thank you.